Throughout human history, astronomers have helped people comprehend what they see in the night sky. From Claudius Ptolemy to Stephen Hawking, many famous astronomers who mastered many fields have explained a space phenomena with varying degrees of accuracy. And recently, astronomers from Stockholm University have detected a radio wave coming from a distant supernova. This has baffled everyone around the world, with one question on everyone's mind. What is the source of this signal? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. And if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on latest discoveries in space. For the first time, astronomers have observed radio waves emitted by a type I a supernova, a type of explosion originating from a white dwarf star, providing important clues to understand how white dwarfs explode. A type I a supernova is the result of a white dwarf star's nuclear explosion. This kind of supernova is well known. Scientists use these supernovae to calculate cosmic distances and the expansion of the universe. The explosion process of type I a supernovae, on the other hand, is poorly known. Because solitary white dwarfs do not burst, Mass accretion from a nearby partner star is assumed to have a role in causing the explosion. Because the accreted mass is the partner star's outer layer, it is generally constituted largely of hydrogen, but it was assumed that a white dwarf might also accrete helium from a companion star that has lost its outer layer of hydrogen. Not all of the matter stripped off the companion star falls onto the white dwarf. Part of it generates a cloud of circumstellar material surrounding the binary star system. When a white dwarf bursts amid a cloud of circumstellar material, it is believed that the shock waves from the explosion would excite atoms, leading them to generate powerful radio waves. Although several type I supernovae have been recorded bursting amid a cloud of circumstellar material, no radio wave emissions linked with a type I a supernova have been observed thus far. A multinational team of researchers, including personnel from Stockholm University and the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan, NAUJ, saw a type I a supernova that erupted in 2020. They discovered that this supernova was surrounded by circumstellar material primarily composed of helium, and they were also successful in identifying radio waves from the explosion. When the measured radio wave intensity was compared to theoretical models, it was discovered that the progenitor white dwarf star was accreting material at a rate of around 1 by 1,000 the mass of the Sun every year. This is the first verified type I a supernova generated by mass accretion from a companion star with a helium-rich outer layer. This radio wave observation from a helium-rich type I a supernova is likely to improve our knowledge of the explosion process and the circumstances preceding a type I a supernova. The REACH team will now look for radio emissions from additional type I a supernovae to better understand the process that leads to the explosion. The material thrown off by the explosion drives a strong pressure wave, or shock, out through the material which surrounded the star before it exploded. The shock accelerates particles to relativistic energies. These relativistic particles emit radio waves through synchrotron emission as they spiral around the magnetic field lines. The modeling of the radio emission suggests that the electrons are accelerated by a shock which is very much weaker than expected from a supernova explosion. Supernovae of type Ena are important for astronomers since they are used to measure the expansion of the universe. However, the origin of these explosions has remained an open question. While it is established that the explosion is that of a compact white dwarf star, somehow accreting too much matter from a companion star, the exact process and the nature of the progenitor is not known. What do you think? Drop in your comments below and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.
Thank you.